Welcome back. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And today we have another episode of Makeup Mondays where I respond to things that you have requested. So if you have any requests for a future episode, please leave them down below in the comments. I do write down every comment and suggestion and, you know, we go through them as I can. So let's go ahead and get started. This week we are looking at the new line from Dior for lipsticks. This is the Rouge Dior line and really they have basically just updated the formula and added a new finish as well. So they now have refillable lipsticks and this line basically started off with the new lip balm, which I reviewed, I think it was my last Makeup Monday episode actually, but this is Rouge Dior 000 and it is a lip balm here. So I'll leave the link to this video down below if you're interested, but these are refillable. So it just comes out like this and it clips in. So it's not a magnet. There's an actual little, I'm not sure if you can see it with the lighting, but there are little prongs that fit inside here and it just snaps in. So these are refillable. This is not perfectly square. So please know that you do need to turn it. And one of the updates they did to the packaging is they added the CD here. This belt is supposed to be reminiscent of what they use on the fashion runways. So all of the new Rouge Dior lipsticks have the CD on it, whereas the older formula do not. Before we go into a lot of details on these lipsticks, let's start off with a quick unboxing. I just wanted to share this with you guys because it was packaged so beautifully and I ordered directly from the Dior website. So let me show that to you and then we're gonna go over product information. I just received the new Dior lipsticks and I can't wait to test them out. So I just wanted to film a quick unboxing because this packaging was too gorgeous not to share. So you can see that, I mean, this is a box, but it's got like more of a leather look to it. And it's not, it's cardboard, <laughs> but you've got the gorgeous holiday tag here. And let's take a look. Okay, so let's see what's in here because I ordered four of the new lipsticks. I can't remember if I ordered four or five, but I think four. So I have one from each of the new formulas. So we have 219 Rose Montagna in Satin. We have 100 Nude Look, which is matte. We have 999, which is the signature Dior Red in the velvet texture, which is a new finish for them. And then we have 525 Sherry in metallic. So those are the new finishes. In here, this is just tissue paper, keeping things apart. And I know this was a free gift with purchase. So we've got a little Dior box. And these are both 999. And I believe this is the old formula. Um, but we have one of them is, I believe, you know, it doesn't say what this one is, but we have a 999 in matte and I believe the other one is in satin. So 999 being their signature shade, they actually have that available in all four finishes in the new line. So I figured I picked up the one in velvet. We've got matte and satin here. The only one I don't have then is velvet. So I thought we'd see how these compare. But again, I do think they are the original formula and I'm not sure how different those are. So I figure, you know, I'm gonna start testing everything and we will see. So I'll compare the satin and matte formulas to the new ones to see if those have really changed or if they've really just made some additions to the line. And let's see what else is in this box actually. Oh, free samples. This must be what that, that is. And, oh yeah, so I have Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. And I have uh, Miss Dior Rose and Roses Eau de Toilette. And what is this one? Oh, lipstick samples. So 
that's great. <laughs> um, this is for Dior Rouge, The Care and Kiss You Will Never Forget. And we've got four shades here. This is the Ultra Care Liquid and Ultra Care. So these are not the new lipstick line, they're these. So the one in the skinny tube and one of the liquids. So we'll be testing these out sometime. But I just wanted to share this unboxing so I could get started testing the formulas of these so we can get go ahead with the review. So thank you so much for sharing my unboxing with me. As you can see, Dior really knows how to make a statement with a package. They packaged everything beautifully. You know, the amount of samples and everything was you know, very nice, very generous. And it was just, it was too gorgeous not to share. So let's go ahead and get started with some product details. So the new lipsticks come in a box like this. And out of the four new ones that I picked up, one of them had the refill loose inside here. So you could just snap it in. I think that was, you know, kind of to show you how refillable it was perhaps, but the rest of them were already snapped in. And the ones that they do have the sticker on the bottom. Sometimes when you buy like a refillable lipstick, it doesn't have anything on the bottom case to kind of, so that when you switch it up, if you want to switch colors, there's no label. These however do. So just a note, this is the same packaging as the lip balm. We've got the red inside and it's very, it's a very nice package. As I mentioned in the lip balm video, I do wish that the packaging was a little bit sturdier feeling, maybe a little bit more luxe. I feel like this package, um, it's plastic, it feels lightweight, which is very comfortable, but for something refillable, I'm looking for something maybe a little bit more heavy duty. So but that's a, a personal preference. These retail for $38, they're three and a half grams or 0.12 ounces. And you know, these are made in France. So I don't, I didn't have any of the Rouge Dior lipsticks from Dior in the old formula. However, I do believe that the two little samples that came with my purchase, the little 999 and satin and matte, these I believe are the old formula. And from what I can tell, the formula itself feels very similar on the lips as the older formula. So I don't really notice a change in comfort level or in wear time. However, according to Dior, it looks like they have updated it with more natural ingredients while still trying to keep the same comfort. So they are advertising 16 hour comfort and they are using peony and pomegranate flower extract to help promote like comfort and um, moisture on your lips and so forth. So let's go ahead and discuss what Dior claims. <laughs> According to Dior, as I mentioned, they are featuring natural origin floral lip care with the red peony and the pomegranate flower extracts for 16 hour comfort. That is based off of tests by 60 individuals. They have 75 beautiful shades and it says that they have included four of their iconic shades, the 999, 100 Nude Look, um, 80 Red Smile, and 525, sorry, 525 Sherry. So they did change formulas for some of them. So the 999 Velvet is a new formula of the 999 lipstick, which comes in every single formula that they have for lips. So they have liquid versions as well, but every formula of the new lipstick line is all, also has a 999. So there's satin, matte, metallic, and now velvet. And that is their iconic red. Then we have 100 Nude Look, and this is a reinterpretation of the grayish New Look of 1947, which was created by Christian Dior as a perfect blend of gray and beige and they're calling it the perfect new contemporary nude. 80 Red Smile is a flamboyant, intensely luminous red, and it's a reinvention of one of the first reds created by Dior in 1950. And then we have 525 Sherry, which is a rosewood whose name conveys Christian Dior's love of women and his muses. So those four shades have been included in this line, and I've noticed though that there are quite a few 
repeat shades. So if you had a favorite shade in the old formula, chances are it is still included in these new 75 shades. According to Dior, the new formula has bolder and more luminous couture colors without compromising on long lasting comfort. And as I mentioned, we have four finishes now, satin, matte, metallic, and velvet. And as I mentioned, the new lip balm, this is the Dior Natural Satin Balm in 000. This is intended to be used for comfortable hydration on the lips, and it can also be used underneath any of the lipsticks. So it does mention on the website that you can use this balm underneath any of the four finishes. I have to say, you know, and honestly, it makes perfect sense, but if you wear this satin lip balm, underneath something more matte or velvet, it really gives you a satin finish. So yes, you can wear it underneath anything. However, it will change the finish of what you're wearing. So just something to note. I wasn't sure if maybe they were trying to go for something that perhaps kept the finish while still allowing you to wear a lip balm underneath. But if they did, were trying that, didn't work. Let's start off with some arm swatches. And we're gonna start off with number 219, Rose Montagna, and this is in the satin finish. This is what I have on my lips right now, and I have the Pat McGrath Lip Liner in Done Undone. By the way, there are new lip liners, or recent lip liners on Dior's website, and a lot of them do color coordinate with the lipsticks. I did order one or two of them, at least one, but. Uh, I guess they went out of stock, so I don't have them yet, but I know one of them is on its way. So this here is Rose Montagna, and you can see that it's kind of a warm peachy shade. I have a blush that matches. <laughs> and then we have number 525, Cherie. This is the metallic finish. Let's see if we can get that smoother. And you can see with one coat, it's going to be lightly metallic. When you build it up, you can really see a lot more of that sheen. Let me build up the uh, first shade a little. So you can see the satin finish versus the metallic. A light coat of the metallic finish it does not look strongly metallic, but when you add on more, and I think it will be more prominent with deeper shades, you really see a lot more of that metallic glint. Then we have 100 Nude Look. This is the matte finish. And this is 999 in the new velvet formula. So you can see that the matte and the velvet do have a different appearance. The velvet really has more of that true velvet appearance, more like the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks whereas the matte is definitely gonna, it doesn't have as much dimension to it. So these are the four lipstick shades I picked up and you can actually see here Rose Montagna, the satin finish, how sheer it actually is. You can see my vein going through that. I actually just topped that off with another layer of lipstick so you can see how sheer that formula actually is. Now I'm gonna just add some arm swatches for the two samples that I received of 999 in the satin and the matte, and I believe these are the old formula. This is the satin in 999. And this is the matte in 999. So I feel like the new velvet formula has a little bit more of a brighter orange vibe to it than the other two, which seem a little bit more cherry in them. Overall though, you know, they're very similar. We're gonna go ahead and go through some lip swatches and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the wear times for each of these formulas as we do that. First up, we have number 219, Rose Montagna in the satin finish. And the new lip balm is also a satin balm and I feel like the two of them are very similar. The satin lipstick is just slightly thicker of a formula and it's barely noticeable. So I feel like there is a very similar consistency in the formula 
And the wear time on this lipstick is approximately three to four hours for me. It's very comfortable on the lips, definitely not drying. I do feel a little extra hydration from this lipstick and I really enjoyed this one. This is number 525, Sherry in a metallic finish. As you can see, the metallic finish isn't quite as prominent with one coat versus two coats. And I feel like if you would like a really metallic look, then you want to go with a deeper shade where it is more evident. Wear time on this is approximately three to four hours, just like the satin finish. And I feel like the formula was very similar on the lips. Didn't really notice much of a difference. There's no grittiness or anything with the metallic finish. And it felt just like the satin lipstick. This is 100 Nude Look in the Matte Finish, and I really like this one. So this is more reminiscent of a true matte lipstick. So it's a little bit more of a flatter matte than the Velvet Finish. Not that it's completely matte. You can see there is a little bit of subtle luminosity with this, and I find it to be very comfortable on the lips. However, it is a little bit more drying than the other formulas. So, if you are somebody who likes more of that dry matte finish on your lips and the way that feels, this formula will give you that. I also found this one to be slightly drier than the older matte formula in the sample. I don't know if that's related to the pigmentation with the red versus something this light, but there is a little bit of a difference between the two of them. Wear time on this matte formula is approximately four hours. You will still have pigment remaining on your lips, but it's not gonna look fresh, so you will need to top it off after about four hours. This is 999 in the new Velvet Finish, and I really like this formula. As you can see, it gives you a velvet appearance to the lips while it's still matte. It's one of those creamy matte textures on your lips, but it's not a very thick formula. So if you're familiar with the Givenchy Le Rouge Deep Velvet Lipstick Formula, they have a similar feeling on the lips. However, the Givenchy is much thicker and creamier than the Dior. The Dior is definitely a thinner formula. Wear time on this is very good. This one definitely lasted the longest. I was able to wear this all day, and as the pigment wore off, it wore off evenly. So in contrast to the matte lipstick where it didn't look fresh and you could see a little bit of patches of my bare lips, when that one wore off with the velvet, it really wore off evenly. So I still had red pigment remaining on my lips and I could very easily just top that off with some lip balm and refresh it or just leave it as is. So this was definitely a very nice formula. Next, we have 999 in the old satin formula, and I think this is a very comfortable lipstick. It feels the same as the new satin formula. I really cannot distinguish a difference on my lips or with wear time. The 999 matte formula in the old version. Again, this one, I don't know if it's gonna be a difference between the pigmentation levels between this and the nude look that I have from the new formula, but the older matte seems slightly more luminous. If you look at the finish on this, you can see that it's not a, it's not quite as dry looking as the new formula is. It's also a little bit more comfortable on the lips. However, if you're somebody who likes that dry matte feeling, more of that powdery finish, the new formula gives you more of that, yet it doesn't seem to dry out my lips, at least not yet. I hope that was helpful. So overall, I think the new Rouge Dior lipsticks are very nice. I really like the line and there are some more colors that I'm interested in picking up in the future. The standouts for me are really the satin formula and the velvet formula. The satin, again, it's just a really nice, comfortable, lightweight satin lipstick, which is something that I really enjoy. And it has more of a sheer formula, yet you can build it up. So I think that makes it very versatile and it's very comfortable. It's not incredibly long wearing or anything like that, but I think it's a great staple. The velvet formula really stood out because it is very long wearing and very comfortable on the lips and it did not leave my lips feeling dry afterwards. 
So I really enjoyed that one. Whereas the metallic and the matte were, were good formulas as well, depending on what you're looking for. They just aren't my personal preference. Now, as for the actual lipstick, there is a scent. This has more of that floral scent to it, and it smells to me just like the older formula. So if you're familiar with the previous Rouge Dior lipsticks, they do have the same scent, and it seems to be about the same level of strength. So it's not overwhelming. And if you are familiar with the new lip balm from Dior, Again, same scent, same level of strength of that scent. So I think overall, of these lipsticks are very nice. I really like the fact that they are refillable and I am very happy with the ones that I picked up. For me, favorite look, <laughs> looks wise, I'm not really a fan of the Sherry for me, just because it's a little bit warmer toned for my skin and I think it would look better on somebody else. So, I plan on picking up more in the future of some of these shades and I definitely would pick up more in the satin formula and the velvet formula. I really like the nude look in the matte formula, but I would prefer it in velvet actually. I really like this nude look shade though and I know I did pick up a lip liner in that. Again, these are the 999 in the satin and the matte of the older formula and you can see that the color is just slightly different from the new velvet but I do feel like, you know, they are definitely similar enough and they're, they're all very nice. But one thing I do want to note, when you are using these more pigmented shades in the satin formula, I definitely noticed some feathering and bleeding of the lipstick. And that's not true just for this. You can see it with the lighter shades as well. It's just not as noticeable unless you're going to look for it. So I would definitely recommend using a lip pencil for these lipsticks, especially the satin and the metallic. The matte and the velvet, you could probably get away without using it. But personally, whenever I use a matte or velvet lipstick, I like to have more of a crisp line with a pencil as well. So I would definitely recommend using a lip pencil with these lipsticks. And as I mentioned earlier, I have tried these with the new Rouge Dior lip balm underneath. Now, if you look at application directions on the Dior's website, they do recommend either pairing it with this or with a Dior lip glow. And I personally found this to be very comfortable underneath the lipsticks, but again, with the matte and the velvet finishes, it does turn them into a satin finish lipstick. So if you're somebody who likes satin lipsticks, um, but you know, sometimes you want a velvet, but you don't really want to invest in the money for it. You might want to consider just adding a lip balm such as this one underneath a velvet lipstick and you can kind of save a little money to do a little duty with that. But I do really like these new lipstick formulas. I would love to know what your thoughts are on these new lipsticks. Have you picked any up? Are you considering picking any of these up? Please let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. So again, this was an episode of Makeup Mondays. And if you have any requests for future episodes, please do let me know down below in the description box or the comment box. And again, even if I don't get to it right away, I am writing all of these down and working on them. Some of the requests do take quite a bit of research and testing, so they take a little bit longer before they can be put up. But I am working diligently on all of the requests that I have received so far. And if you have anything you'd like to add, please leave it down below. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful and I will see you soon. Have a great day.